Go ahead, boys. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm with you. I haven't retired yet. Oh, no. I'm going to go right on to the end of the road. <laughs> The record you heard was played on my 1950 Philco console. This set was an identical model to the one my parents bought in 1949. This particular model happens to be a 1950 model. It plays all three speeds, 33, 45, and 78. Their model was a 1949, which had only two speeds, 78 and 33. It also had two tone arms an automatic one to play the 78s, and a manual one to play the LP records. I'll show you the front of this set. Uh, this set brings back a lot of memories for me. It was the first set that I ever had a chance to uh, play records on as a child, and uh, I really love it, and I was very fortunate to find it. Uh, a friend of mine who owns a radio restoration shop happened to have this in his uh, workroom, he said he didn't want it anymore, and I asked him how much uh, he wanted for it. 
and he said free. Well, I certainly couldn't pass that up. I've been looking for one of these sets for a very long time. So, um, of course, I had to do a total restoration. All the paper caps were were leaking and everything, and uh, it was not an easy chassis to work on. Uh, everything was layered, and it took me about a month to uh, go through and electronically restore it. Then, come to find out, the speaker uh, was defective, so I had to um, place a modern-day 12-inch uh, speaker in the set and kept the old one uh, laying flat on the bottom of the cabinet so I could use the field coil, uh, which was part of the power supply. So I hope you enjoyed looking at this set. Uh, again, it's, it's a wonderful set to have. Um, I think my dad paid around $295 for this, which was expensive at the time. One feature that it has that I like is dynamic noise reduction. The record I played sounded, uh, I know it sounds needle-worn, but it was really bad before I turned the dynamic reproducer and dynamic noise reduction circuit on. So anyway, um, again, hope you enjoyed this video.